anorexic individuals. Susan, this is please, Susan. please, I'm begging, please let her stay. And if she does <laughs> one thing, I'll never say another word. Her dad will not pay it ever again if you send her out. And I can't afford it by myself. <laughs> This is truly it. Again, we have to kind of look at where Polly's at and what she's willing to do. I'll do anything. Okay, but Polly, I think that we've been down that road before. Is it possible, Susan, to make the discharge plans um, for Polly? Can we, can we get something set up for Polly to leave tomorrow? Oh, I'm sure you want her out as soon as you can get her out. Well, I'm sorry. I'm so mad at you all. I know she's made mistakes, but you are making a mistake to turn her away. Okay, and certainly we understand your frustration. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You haven't had a daughter in this situation. You do not understand. So I think you and her dad need to talk about it in a different way. Is is that what you know? It's really not us Keep kicking. For you to say you I, don't know him. I'm so sorry, Mahal. Okay. Hey, I just got kicked out. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. the day where I'd be thrown up again. I'm just too exhausted to fight it right now. I brought it on myself. a lot of signs, but a lot has happened, it seems like, the last week, the last week and a half. 
What does everybody think? Last week we talked about it's just so negative here and it's so chaotic and it's so dramatic, but only we can turn that around. And I was feeling at my lowest a few days ago, but the fact of the matter is, the other night I, I really, really thought about it and part of me, for a fleeting moment, imagined a better life and maybe, no pun intended, but wants to taste recovery. I was talking to a group of people and I said, well, from here on out, I mean, there may be days that I don't want to get out of bed and I don't think I could go on, but I'm going to give it everything I got. And so I made a pact with a couple of people in here that I was going to do it. And they said, okay, I'll do it. And the, really the only requirement to join this pact is number one, you need to make positive choices. You need to be willing to not break the rules here in any way. And you need to be willing to try to give it everything you have. So if there's anybody else who would like to join me in turning Renfrew into a positive place, stand up. I just want to say that um, for you to say that, coming in from the state that you were in the first day, I just admire you for being able to stand up and say that. nervous about going home because I don't think I'm ready. I want to still lose 40 pounds to get to my ideal weight. I have my first day that I'm going to be back planned out and there's no food involved. Shit. Do you want to work in your container? No, I want to go home. Are you going to wake up? I'm not in again. But you don't have a mole. Look, the scars are almost gone. Off. You're off. crawling out of your skin, huh? I want it off, Mom. You don't understand. I want it off. Just come on. I'm wondering, Brittany, if leaving is just bringing up a lot of things for you right now, and um, and that somehow this is is about trying to deal with the feelings that are that are coming up for you at the end of treatment. Both Allison and I want to work very hard with you right now to try to keep things kind of put together. We know it's not fixed. We know there's still a lot of things to do, but I think there's a piece of work you need to do right now which is about being able to say goodbye and to get ready to move on to the next stage for yourself. And if you go into crisis too much with not eating and, you know, maybe talking about how you're going to revert back into your eating disorder or get unsafe in any way, those are going to be things that are going to distract you from dealing with the feelings that you're having about leaving. I don't feel comfortable with you leaving because I don't feel like you're ready. I'm actually scared to death for you. And um, that's something that's not really easy to say because as much as I want you to do good, and I really, really do want you to, just the fact that you're already slipping and you're still impatient. Do you want but treatment, Brittany? If you don't want it, how do you do it? My mom's forcing me. But she can't force me to do something that I don't want to do because she can't get in my head and control me. How old are you, 15? 15. Jen... What kind of things could you have avoided had you gotten help at 15? God damn, I would have enjoyed so many things. I looked back at 12 years and said, what do I remember? I remember sitting at tables. I remember going to Thanksgiving dinners with pre-packaged meals for me and to sit at the table with other people eating my food while everybody else was enjoying Thanksgiving. 
It was embarrassing. It was shameful. And now I'm 28 and I'm a little girl.